Hi guys. So today we're going to do um, just a little mindfulness practice. Um, and this practice is going to be all about how we can release our emotions through physical focus. And I chose this today because I have found this really healing for myself and when I work with clients. When we can start to feel these sensations in our body, it is much easier for us to release them. So let's just jump right into it for today. Emotions are an essential part of the human experience. For many people, it's the part that we listen to most. It provides us motivation and meaning. When emotions are positive, all may be well. But when they are painful, they can send us into a spiral of depression and blame. And in spite of their importance in our lives, many of us don't know a lot about how emotions actually work or how we can learn to be with them in ways that cultivate our well-being. This also helps us connect better with ourselves and with other people. So it helps to know that there are three parts to an emotional experience centered in different parts of our brain. So we have the physical sensation like a tightness, an emotion like anger or grief, and then the thoughts about it, like the story about what happened. Most people have learned to focus and believe the emotion and the thoughts that surround it and don't pay much attention to the physical expression. So I feel like this is where, um, this is where we need to make some adjustments, okay? Um, so there are many traditional mindfulness practices designed to help balance and enrich your emotional life. One approach guides you to go deeply into these often ignored physical sensations that arise from the oldest part of our brain. When you pay attention to the physical expression for a sustained period of time, it will start to settle down and the emotions and thoughts will follow. So then you have a greater balance of body, mind, and heart to give you an understanding about your behaviors. So here's a practice that you can do anytime you wanna feel more grounded in the midst of a difficult emotion. So when you notice a troubling emotion, pay attention to its physical sensation rather than the emotional or mental labels you give it. Just where it is in your body, okay? So we're just gonna find a comfortable position and we're gonna take a couple of full deep breaths here. Your breathing can become shallow when you're stressed or upset. So try to feel your chest and belly expand when you breathe in and then really let it go when you breathe out. Let your attention gently move through your body from your head to your fingertips to your toes. Just watching for any places you may be sensing tension or anything where you're holding it tightly. It can be common to clench your jaw or to literally sit on the edge of your seat if you're feeling a difficult emotion. So do your best to kindly notice the tension and just relax it a little bit in those areas. So just feeling the emotion that's with you right now. We're not labeling, we're just feeling. We're letting ourselves feel it. We're allowing ourselves to feel it. We're giving ourselves permission. Where do you feel it the most strongly in your body? There may be one place or several places where you feel the emotion's physical expression. Maybe around your heart, your solar plexus, your throat or your belly. Just being curious and noticing. If there's a part of you that wants to move away from this emotion or resist it, 
that's totally natural and normal. See if you can be with these sensations with kindness and with curiosity. Just for a moment, remembering to breathe. You can use words to help you stay connected to the physical part of your experience. You can use words to help you stay connected to the physical part of this experience, of your experience, like tight or swirling or hard, whatever feels right for you. You're just listening to your body's expression in this moment. You're not trying to make anything actually happen or stop happening. We're just being curious. You may have an emotional label come up like grief or fear, and that's all part of this practice. Notice the label and bring your attention gently back to the physical sensation that's here with you right now. Does your experience change at all in any way when you apply an emotional label? Like sadness or a physical label like tightness? And just notice what feels different. You may have a thought or a story come up, remembering what someone did or said to you. That is also part of this practice. Just notice it. If you can, also notice the thought creates an echo in your emotions or your physical sensations. Then come back again to whatever physical sensations are most prominent. If an emotion is physically uncomfortable, you can try to create a little space around it. Gently explore the area and see what else is there. Any relaxation or openness. See if you can find the edges of it. And then right at the edge, just soften it. Just soften it a little bit. Breathe into that space. You can do this practice for as long as you'd like, doing the best that you can to let your thoughts and emotions go and to stay connected with the physical manifestation of this emotion. Big emotions can sometimes seem like these impenetrable experiences that just happen. This practice will help you recognize the physical, emotional, and mental components of your emotion but more importantly, what is calling for your attention and self-compassion the most at this time. So just a couple questions to stop and ask yourself as you reflect. Was it easy or hard for you to distinguish between physical, emotional, and mental parts of the experience? When you were able to stay with the physical sensation, did your emotional experience change? And did you notice any thoughts that triggered an emotion or a physical sensation? If you want, just journal about these things, or you can type in the comments and let me know um, your responses. I would love to see how this went for you. And I really hope you were able to find some peace with this.